The tour continues towards the Pyrenees on stage eight with a tricky outing from Macon to Saint Etienne, 200 kilometers and almost 4,000 meters of climbing. The Baradeur looking for liftoff on a day when the breakaway had a genuine shot of going all the way. Three men peeling off right at the start, break specialist Thomas de Ghent joined by Ben King and Nicky Terpstra. Alessandro De Marchi was determined not to miss the party, the Italian set about bridging the gap and the peloton were happy to let that quartet go up the road. De Marchi making contact after 22 kilometers as the gap quickly eased out to over four minutes. Now the day's first set of climbs had never featured on the Tour de France before and they soon began to take their toll. Sprinters like Dylan Grunewagen, Alexander Christoph and Caleb Ewan dropped by the peloton. And the stage contenders rubbing shoulders at the front of the pack. Bora Hansgrohe, Sunweb and De Koenig Quickstep running for Peter Sagan, Michael Matthews and Julian Alaphilippe respectively, keeping the gap to the breakaway at a steady three minutes. The pace at the front proving too much for Terpstra and King on the fifth of the day is at seven at categorised climbs. De Ghent and De Marchi increasing the gap even if there was a minor scare at one point for the CCC man. The leading duo still had over a minute in hand with 20 kilometers to go, but a crash for several Ineos riders, including Geraint Thomas, the defending champion forced to work hard to get back on terms. Onto the day's final climb and again going it alone, while further back Alaphilippe decided that it was time to hunt down the Maillot Jaune. Julian Alaphilippe, he's chasing yellow. The De Koenig quick step man joined by Thibaut Pino. The dynamic French duo wouldn't stop the remarkable De Ghent from claiming his second tour stage win, but they got what they came for. Now Thibaut Pino for second, more time gains, and Alaphilippe is back in yellow. Well, Matthew sprinting to fourth, but the day belonged to De Ghent, conquering the stage after 200k in front and getting a win for Lotto Soudal after a couple of near misses. We came here to win the stage. We, we were really close yesterday with Caleb, and uh, today was a uh, was a day for me where, where I could go my chance, and uh, I had a really good feeling already the whole tour. Uh, and today I was uh, I really had amazing legs today. It was one of today's big questions: Would Alaphilippe try to wrest the yellow jersey back from Giulio Ciccone? Of course he would. The world number one showing his usual panache in the final, with Pino providing more than a helping hand. The Groupama FDJ leader knew exactly what to expect from Alaphilippe even before the stage start. Whatever happens, there'll be an attack from Julian because he wants the yellow jersey back. Everybody knows that. So Alaphilippe back in yellow for a fourth day. He's 23 seconds ahead of Ciccone. Pino up to third, 19 seconds ahead of Geraint Thomas, who was briefly held up by that late spill. Jumbo Visma's George Bennett is still fourth. Tim Vellens couldn't get away today, but he keeps the polka dot jersey, and his closest challenger is now his teammate De Gens. Sagan still well on top in the green jersey standings. He has 60 points in hand over Matthews. And Ciccone can test out the white jersey for best young rider on the road to Brioud tomorrow because the yellow jersey's back on the shoulders of the irrepressible Julian Alaphilippe for France's national holiday.